Hey, welcome to part 18. This part we're gonna work more with XGen. Also want to give you like a, a tip. This really messy noisy lay that we did that's adding like 3k to the triangles. If you're like on a tight budget, you can get this layer the, like really low. You can do like a, this will be like a hair cut, right? And then we do some stuff. That's a horrible one. Then we do some stuff like this. So then we have that haircut and then here we have our hat. It's beautiful. Then here we have our hair. So there's a red card. Now you can stick that card like this way. All over your hair but it's just a way of doing it where it will be cheaper but you will get a little bit less control of how it looks and it's just less fun to do it that way in my opinion so if I'm doing something for a nice render and I don't care too much about poly count I prefer to do it with uh, x-gen stuff but this will be a, a really good way do it if you're like you have to be careful with the poly count and all that stuff the way you can easily reduce this from 3k tries to something like 100 tries which is really good but since i'm not worried about poly count i'm i'm not gonna be worried about it Now let's go ahead and do the the baby hairs. Gonna add some stuff to these. And actually, we should do the we should do this area first. So the way we do this is we take a hair cap. We take a hair cap and we go description, create description. It's gonna be in the same collection. Let's call this baby hairs front. Placing and shaping guides. And now let's go ahead and follow those baby hairs. I'm also gonna place it in the in the sides here just so we can break that up And we don't have to rebuild this with more CV points because this is fine. Let's go ahead to main noise here and just get rid of that. That's pretty distracting. As you can see, we're just following the flow of our haircuts.
again like we were doing when we were placing clumps by hand make sure to just kind of blend it into the other hairs that's gonna really help Now if we generate, you can see all these nice hairs. Go ahead and select a new description. And assign that other hair shader. And the width is just to preview it better. Just add a quick taper preview. This one can be rotated a bit. And this is gonna look a little bit bad until we Add some clumping and some cut modifiers. So keep that in mind. So something like this. Go ahead and mirror that stuff. So maybe like this. Let's go ahead and create a new mask. Baby has zero one. Let's just put on black. It's just because if you paint it white, the uh, edges are gonna be like rough. You're gonna not be able to paint those. I wish we could paint in symmetry. I think we maybe we can somehow, but uh, I don't know how to do that. a little bit too thick still too much Now let's just go ahead and blur that out again. And as you can see, I think the density here is good, but here we don't have enough. Can just go in here and put on paint. Just 
paint this to be more white again. It's gonna up the density. That's a little bit too much. Go to blur. Let's load intensity something like three. So that's nicely blended there. Let's try it like this for now. Okay, let's hide all curves. Hmm. I think we need some that point upwards here. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Can make it a little bit longer. And now let's clump. See, we get some nice strong clumps. We gotta make sure that it's like clumping here. You can see a lot of clumps, and here we don't have any clumps. So for this one, put the density up quite high. Now we're starting to get some clumps there. Let's do one more. This one's gonna have even higher. I think that's okay. I think this one is messing things up though. Still not completely liking how the clumping looks. Can I make this one a little bit smaller? Something more like this. Just make them clump together earlier. Now one important one is the cut one. It's gonna give uh, like the same that we were doing in fiber shot. It's gonna give variation to the length. So you can see how it looks more natural now. Go ahead and do some noise stuff. Maybe. 
at this point just going in with modifies and just adjusting the guides looking for something that we like this can be a little bit difficult I think this looks pretty okay. Looks a little bit too much spike though. So just place some here and point them down. Again, try to avoid straight hairs. And sometimes you can see that it kind of breaks. It doesn't want to show us anything anymore. Let's see if we can still change this one. Nope. So the way to fix this is pretty easy. Just make a save and exit Maya and this kind of annoying I don't know why xgen does this you can see we cannot even close Maya anymore go ahead and save this one make a whole new save <coughs> so 22 Right, one more time. Nope. Control delete task manager. Let's get rid of Maya. Let's hope we close the right one. I think it was this one. Ah, nope. Great. We closed the right one. Now just restart Maya. So let's open our scene again. So let's open our scene and hope nothing broke. And we got a little red coat, which is probably bad. There's a problem with something. So stuff probably broke, which is annoying. This is what I, I mean, like exchange a little bit weird. A lot of times things break and I don't know why. Let's get this window. Put it here. Come on. So let's try to figure out what happened. So it looks like the project path messed up. Because it's trying to link to D bridge, blah, blah, which is wrong. let's see if we can fix this we can see we have some hairs still if we go ahead and delete this we we can actually do stuff again let's try setting the project set project you can see it set itself to here i'm not sure why 
let's just try resetting it. It should be here, X-Gen Generation Set. As you can see, now it works again. And that's because the, let's see if we still have the arrow. The way the mask works is it takes the, takes like a variable and that's our project path. So if that project path is set wrong, it's going to try to access a PTX file, which doesn't exist. So that's how you can fix stuff. And sometimes it's an easy fix and sometimes it's just a really complicated mess and gonna be better off just deleting everything sadly. Maybe we can do a little bit more cut. I think like two is fine. I think it looks better without that last clump. Still think we can use a little bit more density here, maybe. One bad thing is we're getting quite a few really small ones there. Let's change this back to 15. 0.15. Nope. Point one. One. Ah, uh, 1.5. I think like that's okay. I think we can use more density here. I'm just gonna paint like some white balls. It's gonna give some more hairs. Some more here. exactly the result I was trying to get. Let's keep it like this. I think like this, okay. And right now everything's just kinda clumped. Let's do a new clump. I want this one to have pretty strong clumping. Generate. It's doing some really strange stuff. Let's get rid of this one. Let's use the clumping tree for this. directionality there as well. Just take one and if it's also really short at some places you can like right now we got some short stuff happening here. You can place one here and just make this longer. As you can see this should make the hairs longer as well. Quite a few short ones as well. Just this one lay down a little bit more. And 
I think that looks like some nice some baby noise. It's a little bit much here though, but we can smooth that out and later delete some of the curves. I'm not an expert in XGen, I don't know how to do everything exactly here. But I think it's also good to not make stuff too complicated. I think it looks bad like this. So one thing that's nice, we can do noise. Now just type Maya XGen stray hair noise and just copy this code right here. So frequency like that and magnitude like this. And you can see it doesn't really change too much. But now what we do is we go description and set stray percentage. Now we can choose like a percentage of hairs that are going to like take this noise. So 20% of these hairs have to take this noise. Now you can see we can break it up a little bit. We can put the magnitude up. Like one... Uh, Skip it at point one. Put the frequency up. Nope. Stray here. I think something like this. And for the mask, it's the general strength. Let's put it at like 0 0.2. Maybe 0.4. Just get rid of the effect at the roots a little bit more. Now you can see we just have some hairs that are breaking this up. I do think this is too dense. But now let's go ahead and fix that. Let's take a mask. Let's take like a grayish color. And paint that on top. And then let's just blur that stuff out. Let's take the overall density and put it down a little bit. Let's try something like this maybe. I think the cut is still too much. That's way too much actually. Try point five. Yeah, like that's better. Now we can just taper them out more to make them fade more. Try changing the length a bit. Give these some curvature. Because again, I do not like to use straight hairs. I think it looks very unnatural. I think all these hairs here, they shouldn't be there. But we can get rid of them later. 
with the uh, guides, with the curves that we generate. I still think it's like looking too spiky. I want these hairs to actually point down. So I think this spiky looks looks wrong. Let's take a few of these and try to make them longer. This just to give a bit more variation to those baby hairs, right? I think something like that, maybe try changing the length. A bit less dense. So I think like this is pretty nice. Do not like that angle there though. Yeah, let's try this. Ik heb dat ding namelijk ook nog nodig met de uh, vuistje. So let's go ahead and export these. Location is correct. Now we have a new one called Baby Ass. I think these are gonna be quite a lot. It's actually not too bad. Go ahead and delete these. It's a little bit weird. Just gonna mirror. Duplicate, I mean, those. Just to fill this empty space up a little bit. Can get rid of those. So then we have like 300. It's not too bad. Make sure that they don't lose their shape. So let's select all those and curve cut. This looks beautiful. Let's group them together. Let's 
put them on 18. Start off by sending this to like 4. This all the way down. Change that width. Try point two. Point zero two, I mean. So I think that looks about right and orient. So you can see that's all nicely orientated. And check out the topology. I think this looks pretty cool by now. So let's go ahead and design Fiber Shop, I mean. And we do still have quite a lot of space left. Which is nice. Design. Just duplicate this one. And of course I moved the wrong one. That's okay, we're not using them. It's all locked. So just make the single hair. Gonna put it right here. Let's go ahead and lock this one though. And this is the one that we're gonna use for the baby hairs. So go and change the tip a little bit. So we can really control how thin and how fine the baby hairs are gonna look by giving it their own texture. I'm not sure if we baked it on 4K. It's a beautiful drawing, by the way, I know. Let's go ahead and export this. See a new hair and stretch the alpha. It's the wrong one. Give this one name, baby. Yes. And I think these hairs are really nice, like these little baby hairs. I think they look cute. So let's go ahead and give this one UVs. Why is that not working? Now we have the standard material. And if you don't have this plugin and you're following the, the tutorial, you can also do this using Sweet Mesh. But it's just a little bit easier this way, especially because of the outer orientation. Make sure that we have everything there. Let's take a look at our little baby hair. That's pretty nice. I think shift control to add, yeah, shift control. There you have a lot of baby hairs. Let's take a look at the poly count. Uh, it's not that bad. So let's take a look. 
that the individual had a group. I think. So we have our before. I think maybe we need to add some, like to fill this up, because right now it's only really working from the the normal side. But let's see. But that's gonna add a lot of extra poly count. Beautiful. Doesn't look any different. Weird. Yeah, now we have it. I think they're a little bit too thin, actually. I think that looks a little bit better. And I think what we have to do is take all these. They're a little bit low. Lattice. Now we can just move them up really easily. Yeah, that's better. And I think it actually works from the side. We have a lot of hairs here that cover it. And we got some stuff going here. Now we just have some at the front as well, which is nice. we can make these a little bit longer right here let's take the baby hairs and take them like this don't want to touch those those are fine <coughs> Let's do a lettuce. Now let's set this at like eight. Now over here, just drag them down. This can be a little slow, depending on your computer. Let's also rotate them. Let's see the difference. So yeah, those look a lot better. You can see how much control we have over our X-Gen generation. Like you don't need to have the perfect curves generated from X-Gen right away. We can just mess around with our hair cards to change them. Because X-Gen is a little bit difficult to see how everything looks. You also don't have everything together yet. I 
I think those are pretty nice. Maybe we can rotate these, these stick out a little bit against the flow. a bit better actually those seem pretty okay let's do this you can see how easy this is just lettuce and soft select and rotate that stuff. Make the match the flow a little bit better. So maybe like this. I think we can call the baby has done for now. Let's go ahead and delete that. And delete the history. And that's it. So also make these brown. So let's go ahead and do one more description. So again, let's select the hair cap. Create description and let's call this pony tail. This time we don't need as many guides, so just place one here. Let's go ahead and rebuild this to like 12. Mm, I don't know why sometimes you get this weird thing where it just doesn't want to move at all. Let's try resetting. Reset. Nope. That's okay. We can also just uh, set length. Let's go with like 15 maybe. Uh, 25. We can make it longer this way if your move tool doesn't want to work. It's a little bit less intuitive. That's okay. I just want this one to run in the middle. And give this one some flow. Let's do one more. Actually, let's just delete this and... Uh, it won't even let me select anymore. Just take this one and can mirror it. This one's gonna like cover the most outer part. Does it mirror that? here 
I want to make sure that it does the automatic guide. Just move this one out. We can do one that's a little bit less long here. Go ahead and try generating some stuff. You can overwrite this max value by doing that. Let's give the standard hair. working as well. I'm gonna have to restart my uh, doing some weird things. Let's see if it's also doing it here. Now it all works. I think it's just X gem being weird again. So let's see if that fixed it. And you can see it did. It's generating it a little bit weird here. So let's go ahead and up the CV count to something like 24. I'm gonna hide the hair for now. what's happening there I think it's because we have too many so close to each other so let's just try moving them away as you can see it generates a little bit more even now See, we don't have anything here yet. Maybe something like this. And it's not generating anything again. again like i told you xgen can be a little bit of a pain to work with and it's not closing let's go ahead and save this let's make a new save now i'm not sure why xgen is, is doing this all the time anyone knows please let me know so after restarting it should work again take a look here let's put the density and that's not working at all does the baby hair it's ponytail yep now it's working again you can also flip this by the way Sometimes it gets a little bit better the generation. It's a bit annoying how it's generating so much there, but we can fix that with a density mask later on. I wanna have a pretty long one here. Yeah, you can see how bad that's generating. I have no idea why. Hmm. 
So we'll fix it with a density mask. Let's go ahead and paint the mask. <coughs> Great map, black, and then so pony tail mask zero one. Nothing should be here. That looks about right. Put another one there. Again, we don't need to see the ponytail, we can just follow the guides that we have here. I think that's starting to look a little bit better. Go ahead and blur this mask as well. So like four. And that's starting to look a bit better. It's a bit much here, but. the guides until it looks good. So just move the guides until it starts to look better. You can see we have a lot of straight hairs there. I think it's this one if we just move this down. You can see that that got rid of it. a little bit difficult to actually spot the hairs at this point so let's go ahead and give them a different color let's make them white so you can see it still needs quite a lot of work start with lowering the density we need some hairs going here. <coughs> Again, let's start with a clump. Clump, clump, clumping. I think we can put this at something like three. Yeah, that's a bit too high. Two. And the lower, the, the less clumps you'll have. I think 2.5. the same as mask it's just the uh, intensity go ahead and add some cut i think we can make them all a little bit longer want to make sure that we have them out of the 
silhouette, but not too far. I think they should all be a little bit higher here, but I think it's gonna be easier to fix with the actual haircuts, maybe. Matt, going pretty easy actually. Try hiding these so we can see it a little bit clearer. We're missing some hairs here. You can see that we don't have a guide, and that's why we're not getting anything there. Sure why the guides are looking a little bit weird now, but that's okay. I just wanna have some more white here. So we can put it on paint. Just paint a little bit of white here. And then just blur that in with the rest. that now we get some hairs there. I think we should try pushing this one out. So the hairs won't be as much in the hair itself but more on the outside. Because we don't wanna have any curves in the middle we want to try to avoid that as much as we can because that's just gonna be hidden anyways it's gonna be a waste of poly count I think like this okay could use a little bit more here actually You can see this a little bit more difficult than the other part that we were doing. I think like that's okay. Let's try making them a little bit longer again. See that they're all really the same there, so that's bad. Let's try upping the cut to like three, maybe four, maybe even five. It's a little bit better. Let's go ahead and change that length. I don't like this little bump that we're getting there. I think it's because of this one. That's a 
little bit better. <coughs> Go ahead and add some coil. That's just like how many times the hair is twisting. If you put on five, you'll have five twists in your hair. The radius is how big that is gonna be. That twist. Mask the intensity. You can see it's just gonna make everything a little bit wavy, which is nice. Let's go ahead and blend the, the hair again with the color. See how it blends together. I think that's not looking too bad. See how that helps a bit. Do a noise. Nice noise. And we can go to baby hair's front. Let's copy this stuff. If you remember this just to get some noise in there, that's gonna follow a percentage that we set here. So it's at straight percentage, let's put this at 25. See how that breaks that up a little bit. Let's put a little bit more cut again. So yeah, that's a little bit too much. Go ahead and hide the other ones. I think that's adding some nice details here and there. Let's see if we can do one more thing. Here now we can just adjust the ends a bit. See if we can get something that we like. I 
Är den uh, Bulldog White igen eller är det different a bit more clear? I think I prefer it without. Yeah, it's way better without. I think we'll keep it like this. Go ahead and mess a little bit with density. I think like this, nice. Where we just get that one on the side. One more pass of these. We're gonna make some noisy ones as well. Try 16 with 0 0.04. Let's try rotating it to the normal, but I don't think that will work for, for the face mesh, but let's see. No, that doesn't work. So the way we can fix that is we can create polygon cube. You can do like any primitive, whatever you like. But I always like to just model everything out of cubes. Just follow the shape of your ponytail or whatever normal you're trying to capture. Now we can smooth it out. want to make sure that we do follow the main flow let's make that a bit bigger and let's get rid of these parts we have this weird shape let's convert that smooth it out one more time smooth smooth just make sure it's all soft let's go ahead and call this thing uh till normal direction Select target. Now I 
think we can hide it and it will still work. That's not working as I would expect it to. Unhide it, see if that works. So it doesn't work. Let's get rid of this one. And I think we can fix it on a other way. Go on right view. Left view. And hide everything. And my views are broken. Let's keep them right. Let's go ahead and create a curve. Just follow the direction of the ponytail. Go ahead and rebuild. Make sure we put it like in the middle of the ponytail. Now that we have this little thingy here, I think the other one didn't work because it was really thick. So let's give this a try. Now go to create sweep mesh. You can see our sweep mesh here. and put like 16 sides let's make this one really small actually i feel like we should up this to like a lot maybe it will work a bit better not sure if this works but i'm just trying stuff at this point because like i said i haven't worked early with the orient to normal stuff now let's see what happens if we select that one as a target. So select. And let's see if that fixes it. Yeah, that seems to work quite nice. But you can see there's some that are like not working I think for the majority of them it's working so we can just come in and we can adjust some of them with hand that are not working as we want but I think it's better than starting everything by hand because right now we can just come in and we can adjust a few that seems pretty okay yeah, I see that looks pretty well transfer let's give them the pink color and again we can still adjust some with hand I think that looks pretty okay
not getting as many as I would have liked here, but just take one and move that. this one out so we got some detail so now we have some stuff going here let's go take a look how this looks just gonna put this in a whole new group call this one in the visuals and like always a screenshot before and one after I think that looks nice. It's a really subtle effect, but it's only 1k tries. We get some really sweet details here. Here. You can see these nice soft hairs. It's just breaking up that shape really nice and subtle. So these lengths are too similar here though. You can see that here, they're pretty similar. Let's just take some and move that out. Yeah, that looks a little bit more varied. I think the tips are all too thick. It's just like that. Yeah, now they blend in a bit more nicely. You can see how we start to get that messy look, right? We have all these little hairs here that really break the flow. You can see that we're starting to get some of that. And depending on how clean you want your hair to look like, you have... Uh, go here. Depending on how clean you want your hair to look like, you can add less or more coal. And the more you like break up your flow, and the further away they are, the more messy your hair looks. So let's just do a new generator seat. Just looks for something different. But less density. So like count of three. Radius of 
two, three, five, and the count down to point three. Nope. This one I want to have like a lot of messy as like this effect where they like messy and stuff. I think maybe you can do this one better with noise. Noise, noise. Getting more of an effect that we want. It's too much. like this and primitive length nope problem right now is that they're all too long so let's try a cut If we just delete all the code, we can go here and we can set our own amount. So now they're all being cut the uh, same length. I'm just trying to get the noisy effect here. Looks bad if we disable that first cut. Do like three. <coughs> a little bit less of a clump going on here. And I want them to fly away more at the ends. And I think the noise is too strong. Try magnitude of 10. 16. I think it was better like 20. And again, you just gotta mess with the settings until you get something that you like. I want them to be more spread out at the end, so we can do a, a call. Disabled at the root. Only have the effect at the tip.
Maybe you can reduce the cut. What happens if we put a minus? And it makes it longer, of course. Some nice noise going on now. There's gonna be like a general noise just to get some noisiness in there. I'm gonna do another one where we have like more noise here. As you can see uh, quite a lot there. Let's just see which one you like more. We can also adjust the length. Right, let's try a new seat. It's just looking for one that you like. Final cut. That one's gonna have the randomized coat. Just see if we can get a little better. Yeah, 
what the act let's go with this This one's gonna create a lot of nice, messy detail. You can just see how noisy that gets, right, already. This one's going to be a little bit thinner than the other one. This one's going to need more topology. But the shapes are so curvy, right? And let's orient. I have no idea how this is going to look. Uh, this okay if it's like orient a bit in a weird way i'm gonna try to get a little bit different orientation here let's go ahead and twist these hairs as well I don't think this looks too bad. And it's okay if there's like uh, a lot of backsides. Because it's gonna be badly visible anyway. I'm just trying to avoid like this angle where we don't see anything of it. And that's also why we put some twist on them. That's still too thick, actually. Check the poly counts. Well, I think this one's gonna be quite high, and that's actually quite good. Let's go ahead and lower it a little bit though, say 24. It's a little bit low and nicer. Yeah, it's gonna be way too thick, I think. Yeah, that's too thick. Because I want this effect to be really subtle, right? So let's try uh, 0 0.15. That looks better gonna put this up a little bit to 28 actually let's do 32 probably count was not too bad i think that's nice now you can see the subtle noise going along it Now we just need one more to simulate this noisiness there. I think for that one we can just go to the cut and cut it a lot.
let's keep the magnitude the same. To lower that effect, we can do the mask. 2.7, 0.8. I'm not really getting the effect that I want here. Let's just go ahead and delete some stuff. I think like this will work. Trying to move that nicely in place. I want to flat these tips out a bit. I think that one works quite well. Let's try setting that stray percentage to 40. So we have a bit more hairs going crazy. That's a little bit too long. some nice noise in this there. <coughs> Thank you. 
So let's give this the same width. Maybe a little bit thicker. 0 0.02. Let's try orienting this thing. Go ahead and load a poly count to be quite a lot. Now we just have a little bit more noise here at the tips. I think it looks a little bit better. Got a like a uh, geometry added. We do gotta eventually come in here and do edge flow for the ones that are like really sticking out. You want to make sure that you add some topology to them. So I put like this one. This is better than just increasing the segments for all of them. Because this is going to be a lot cheaper to see which ones are like badly pointing out. We'll do that later. But you can see that it helps a lot. Let's go ahead and do one more generation. That's going to be for the baby hairs here. So hair cap. Create description. Let's call this one long baby hairs. Just the black background so we can see a little bit better. And these ones are gonna be pretty straightforward. Just follow the flow of our main clumps that we made. Then we're gonna do the variation by clumping with the modifiers. This one to be longer than our main clump. 
think maybe a white will be better. And again, Alt B to change your background color. A little bit longer. Let's get that to flow in there. I think that's okay. We have another one here. Sorry if I'm coughing quite a lot. The house is pretty cold. <laughs> yeah. So again, make sure that the guide is longer than our actual hair clumps. And try to follow that flow as close as we can. Just make this one kind of clump together. Over here we have a really long one. And it doesn't need to be perfect. Just as long as you're close to it, it's okay. Now that we have all our guides, go ahead and give this one a bit more flow. Let's try generating some hair, which looks amazing. Okay, let's apply our other material. Change the width. make it brown again let's go ahead and paint the mask and the way we're gonna paint this mask is pretty simple create map black let's call this long baby um, mask and score zero one Now let's set the size around that. Show you on paint. Now we just paint these little dots. Actually a little bit bigger. We can change the brush as well. 
so it's not soft you can just create a hard dirt I'm gonna put a dot at every clump that we have so now that we have these clumps let's go ahead and blow let's put this up to like six Now we just go ahead and blur these ones out. Now save. If you're getting some hairs that are not like clumping nicely, just add that a bit. Let's see, move this a bit closer. 